Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers. And of course, today I just got these in. It's really, really weird because um, like a few days ago uh, when these came out, they were out for like a few hours and then Nike just decided to like not sell it, I guess. I don't know. They had three colorways. They had the white, a white one, the light blue one, and then this red one. And then now I look on Nike.com and it's nowhere to be found. The only Hyperdunk you can get is the Flyknit version, which is kind of weird. But um, thankfully I got these and you guys can probably get the, uh, the Hyperdunk. This one, the regular version on Finish Line or something like that or Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, I think I saw some over there. So um, anyways, Nike doesn't have it right now, uh, which is really weird. But um, uh, enough of that, this is just my first impressions on the regular Hyperdunk 2017. So um, let's go over the tech specs. So of course you have the pressure mapped crop circle traction pattern. Um, it is a solid rubber outsole and I don't think Nike has any that is uh, translucent which is really good. Um, and of course, just like the Flyknit uh, version of this shoe, uh, the traction is probably going to be phenomenal so I'm not really worried about that um, so yeah it's just a white outsole and then moving on to the cushion <clears throat> it was really weird because like in some of the uh, official pictures of this shoe maybe it was like it was a fake picture so on um, you know photoshopped it or maybe it was like a pre-render like before they changed it to react cushion but it did some of the pictures said lunar line right here so i was guessing that it did have lunar line but this is actually react cushioning so it's gonna be exactly the same as the flyknit version of the shoe which is not bad um of course as you guys know it just feels like a fine line but a little there's a little bit of bounce and impact protection is a lot better so um it's just react cushioning uh, another weird thing is uh if you do get the big great big kids or like grade school version i believe that that one has lunalon uh, i uh, i checked on nike and then it said the big kids hyperdunk or whatever had lunalon so um uh just so you guys know if you guys are kids and you get the big kids or whatever but then the men's the uh the men's hyperdunk version is react cushioning Anyways, as you guys know, it is a React Core, and then, um, you know, there's a carrier. So, as you guys can see from this picture, the, uh, the React Core is actually super thin, and um, it's very caged, basically, inside the carrier. So, it's not getting its full potential, or you can't really feel all of the React, um, because it's caged and it's thin. So, but anyways, there's that. <clears throat> now, basically, for... The main difference, it's the um, upper, and there's a lot of sites saying a lot, lot of different things. When this was available on Nike, on the tech specs, it said it was just a textile upper, but then on uh, finish line, it says it's a uh, knit jacket upper. So it doesn't really matter what it's called. It's basically just a, a knit, it looks like, a textile upper. It's a nice, soft, very soft uh, material. It's actually super thin too. Um, one of the thinnest uppers that I felt. Uh, of course, it does have an underlay because it is a half booty, and then the the, the tongue comes down like this halfway, um, just like in the fly knits. And uh, I don't know, man. This is one one hundred forty bucks, and twenty dollars cheaper. And uh, I don't even know if this is like like worse than the fly knit. But we'll, of course, we'll have to see um, from the. Uh, performance review and the versus video I, I'll have, obviously have to play in these but um, <clears throat> and this is of course like a mid mid slash hot it's a mid basically and ankle support seems to be not the best it doesn't it, it sh this should basically be a low um, but um, it doesn't really feel like ankle support is gonna be good but um, whatever I'll have to play in that also and um, <clears throat> for for sizing go true to size it does fit pretty narrow so watch out you wide footers um, but I did go true to size seven and a half and it is good and um, it feels pretty damn light let's actually weigh this you know sneak peek for the uh, review and it's 12.03 ounces so that's actually really light and it uh, obviously I feel like it's gonna be a very responsive and good shoe to play in 
and Nike did a really good job on this year's Hyperdunk. I'm really excited. Um, if they do a good job, um, when this goes to the outlets in like eight months or whatever, I'm probably gonna pick up a few pairs because um, I really liked how the me and Don actually really liked how the Flyknit Hyperdunks um, performed. So yeah, and then the swoosh is kind of like a embossed like I don't know. It's it's kind of a weird material, but um, I feel like it looks good. You know, aesthetically, I feel like it looks pretty dope. Um, a lot of people are saying it looks like a runner, but I don't really care uh, if it looks like a runner. You know, runners look dope. You know, a lot of the time. So, anyways, that's that's my first impressions on the Hyperdunk 2017, just the regular version. And I feel like they're gonna be just as nice as the Flyknit version. Performance review will be coming soon, and the versus video uh, will be coming soon. So, for 140 bucks. I feel like this is gonna be a really good performer. Tell us what you guys think of this shoe. You guys, have you guys tried it out and stuff like that? And um, I will see you guys in the next one.